when your grandma's a narcissist. God, you know what? I I found out I grew up with one, but I didn't. And it was she was so covert, and she was so uh, she was the matriarch of the family, and I admired her and all. I always noticed there was a strange dynamic in the family. My adopted family always always knew. I'm going to make a video about that later, but I realize now why my mother resented me so much, but the weird part was she could have said something to me, but I'm thinking she might have been afraid that I was going to go to my grandmother and talk to her, which would have blown the whole thing up, which is why she never said to me, look, this woman's a monster and she fucking hates me and she's using you to punish me by making you love her. And it, my mom should have said that to me, but she didn't. So <laughs> she's a narcissist too, though. But the, her mom was worse. And now I'm going, oh, my God, I got a friend. I got a very dear friend on a vacation, a narcissist vacation, Christmas vacation. It's like National Lampoon's, you know, vacation with Chevy Chase and shit. And then they got the Christmas edition. Well, now it's Christmas edition. She did it earlier in the summer vacation with the narcissist mom. Now it's Christmas. So she gets off the plane, gets in the car, and immediately she's like, somehow... She decided that the, the grandchildren didn't read enough on the way from the airport to her apartment. Then later that day, the youngest son comes down with a fever, and she just, Oh, I knew I should have wore a mask! Immediately dons a mask and will not take the mask off for anything whatsoever. But yet, no six-foot distancing, nothing like that, masked up. In front of the kids, rubbing their sick head, rubbing the sweat off. They're going, and so glad for her. While they're just. Ew, stop it. Grandma, you are so inappropriate. And then she's like, these kids are like, these are boys. They're 10, 9, and 7. She thinks it's appropriate to tickle, 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 like they're babies. They're just like, and they don't know this grandma well. It's not like somebody they grew up with or she kept them when they were little and it's like the second mom. It's nothing like that. This is like an aunt at a great distance. This is long distance grandma, barely ever talked to her, only time, barely ever seen her. This past summer they saw her and she tortured them quite a bit, but they forgot because part of the vacation was so much fun, right? I mean, they were in Florida. They were somewhere different. They're swimming and going to different parks and doing different things. And they enjoyed a great deal of it because they weren't quite honed in. On, well, they weren't the main target. At times they were because when they wouldn't obey her immediately, brush your hair immediately or I'm going to take that toy away I gave you. What? Or you can't go to the water park tomorrow if you don't take a shower immediately. Like, what are you going to do with him? Leave him in the car? Leave him here with your freaky boyfriend who you just said to me, hey, babe, did you leave anything at the apartment? Because that creepy dude I live with might steal it. You mean your ex-boyfriend that you let live with you, mom? That doesn't work, but you're going to... You want me to pick him up a pack of Newport 100s when I go out to the store because you're going to give him a couple bucks... To clean your air fryer, which he will then give to me when I bring the cigarettes. Like, wh How old are y'all? Wait a minute, you're in your 50s? And this is going on. You're letting this creepy guy that might steal from me live in your home and bring my children here to stay for two weeks over Christmas vacation. Okay. But you're not going to take your mask off. And you're going to make my children feel guilty. For you having to wear a mask because they're sick. They're filthy. They're germ-ridden. Like, they're just like walking bioweapons, walking just swampy, dirty, diseased, filthy, dripping with disease, you know, my, my children. Look, this is the absolute last time <laughs> that these children and mother will have to endure this. So... I'm asking for footage, and I'm asking for audio. I'm asking for it. Because <laughs> she's like, it's every second. It's every second. And the guy, the guy that lives there, it's that with it. If she ain't doing it, he's doing it. He's doing something. Why don't you sit down? Because I've been standing, I mean, why don't, you, why don't you sit down? Because I've been sitting down on the plane all day. Sit, sit, sit down. Please sit down. Sit, sit, sit. No! Last time I checked my ID, I was 38. 
I think I'm well aware of when I would like and when I would not like to sit down. You sit down. And shh, shh, mommy says, be quiet. 